Will, tell us about the educational animals you guys have here at the Desert Museum. Well, the museum maintains a collection of about 50 different animals that we use as ambassadors. They're there to teach and to educate, and this is one of them. This is a San Esteban Island chuckwalla. They're an endangered species. They only come from one island in the Sea of Cortez. Wilma was actually born here at the museum, and she's part of a captive breeding program we do here at the museum for this species. Again, uh, just like we talked about with the bighorn sheep, we keep a group of animals as a genetic backup if there were to be a population die-off on this island. And one of the coolest things about chuckwall is that I always loved as a kid I would chase these guys around the desert and they will actually wedge themselves into rocks and just kind of expand their bodies with air and then they pretty much lock in there so the predators can't get them out of the rocks. Exactly, you can see these folds, those loose skins. She tells us Wilma's nice and relaxed right now. She's pretty much used to going just about everywhere. So she's very relaxed being around people. And she looks like she's been having some breakfast. Is prickly pear fruit all over her mouth yep, there? Yeah, prickly pear fruit. We try to feed her as diet as, a, as normal as it would be in the wild, which is probably the healthiest diet for her. Um, but Wilma definitely gets very much into her breakfast. She's got it on her front feet. She's got it on her back feet. She's got it on her face. Sloppy eater, Wilma. You're gonna have to work on your table manners, aren't we? Chuck Wallace aren't known for their table manners. <laughs> she's like, don't judge me. I always say that these animals are basically their ambassadors because they're here to educate and inspire people about their cousins in the wild, which means that, you know, while you might never go to San Esteban Island to see a chuckwalla, you can see one here. If you thought that was one wild adventure, check out these other animal encounters. And don't forget, subscribe to follow me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail.